Hi guys, Pete here in 6QW, and I wanted to show you a little project I'm working on here. I recently acquired a Tentec Triton 2 uh, transceiver. I had one a couple years ago, and I, I gifted it to a ham that had no equipment just starting out in the hobby. So I thought that was a good deal, but I always liked that, and I had a chance to get, a, get one for a really good price. Now, <clears throat> they use a very interesting system in the Triton 1 and Triton 2, and it, it changed later with the 4s and what have you. But essentially, they have no crystals to heterodyne the VFO to the different bands. They have a PTO, and they switch in a, uh, a network for the 5 bands, and it actually shifts the PTO by certain frequency, certain frequency amount, and there are actually two slug tune coils for each of the bands. And one of the coils uh, essentially gives you the band edge, and the second coil gives you the right band spread. So as you tune the 100 kilohertz points, it's pretty much on, but they sort of say it's within plus or minus 2 kilohertz that 100 kilohertz is really good. It does have a crystal calibrator, so it'll let you, let you know where you're going. But then they take that output, <clears throat> and and then they double and triple it, or they use it straight through on 80 meters the LO is in the 12 12.5 12 megahertz range and you subtract out um, 9 megahertz and of course you get 3.5 um, on uh, 40 meters the LO is in the 16 megahertz range and you subtract out 9 and you get 7 so essentially you're doing a subtraction there and uh, what results is lower sideband on the upper bands um, they take uh, the LO, like on 20 meters, it's it's operating at 5 megahertz. So 5 plus the, the BFO 9 gives you 14. And then on uh, <clears throat> on 15 meters, uh, they they mix that. So it comes out at 12.5 uh, megahertz. So that gives you 17. And uh, let's see, 12.5. Oh, they double that. So it gets 24. And uh, you take the 5 out of that and it gives you... Uh, 21 so um, by tripling what have you uh, in the last range it operates in uh, in 9 megahertz uh, so it operates in 9 megahertz range uh, I mean sorry 19 so you got 19 plus 9 gives you 28 anyway um, this seems to work uh, pretty good except uh, it's a bear to get those all the bands to be correct I mean you can do it but it's like ours and ours are working I wasn't I'm not too good at making things like that work. So I decided, decided to come up with a, a system using an Arduino, a keypad, an encoder, Pro Mini, and I don't have the SI5351 connected here, but let me show you what happens. When I press 1 on the keypad, essentially, that puts me on uh, 75, 75, 80 meters. So I, I pick the frequencies of where it boots up, so when you push, push the 1 on the keypad, It'll boot up to um, 3.75. And then you can tune it with the encoder here. And we can see the numbers changing. Or, if you like, if you press 8 on the keypad, it moves up in frequency. And if you press 0, it moves down in frequency. So you can either tune it from the encoder or from the keypad. So you look at the keypad, a little 12, 12 button keypad. For some unknown reason, when it goes to 20 meters, um, you have to hit the uh, encoder once, or the keypad once, to get, get you at uh, 14,250. But anyway, it tunes up, tunes down, and there's various step tuning rates. If you punch 4, it puts you, and then hit the encoder, it puts you at 21,250. So we're able to tune up and down using the keypad or the encoder. And here's the keypad tuning. So this is going to be kind of cool. And then when you punch 5 and hit that, it puts you at 10 meters. So we'll be able to tune the bands. And, and the, um, the LO is such is the frequencies that are required for, um, for operation uh, on those bands. 
and uh, but the display there was a little trickery to get the display to come out right now you can also change the step tuning rate and here we're tuning it at 1k increments and we can tune it at 100k or we can tune it at 1 kilohertz 100 hertz or 100 kilohertz there it is 100 so that's pretty cool and uh <clears throat> And again, we have the step step up and step down tuning. So here's the step down. There we go. So I'm looking forward to installing this. Uh, and there's one wire that goes to the transmit receive mixer that uh, takes the output of the uh, of the Tentec arrangement. So I'll just disconnect that wire, run a piece of coax to the back of the uh, chassis, and I'll have make this a little outboard system. So it'll have the encoder, encoder knob, the keypad, and the display, and there may be one or two other buttons you put on there. So anyway, this is Pete, N6QW. Thank you for riding along.